Okay, the abstract factory. Abstract factory pattern adds an abstraction layer over multiple other creational pattern implementations. To begin with, in simple terms, think of it as a factory that can return factories, although you will find examples of it also being used to return builder, prototype, singletons, or other design pattern implementations. So there we go, there's builder, prototype, and singleton, which we'll look at in the next sections. Okay, so in the abstract factory section, it's very simple when you understand it from the terms of what we've seen in the factory section already. Okay, the kind of terminology that you will likely see in other documentation or in example code throughout the internet, the client, the application that is running the abstract factory. So down here, that's my client and that's the abstract factory. Abstract factory, a common interface over all of the subfactories. So that's my abstract factory here and I've got two subfactories. The concrete factories, there we go, there's factory A and factory B. They're both independent factories. They don't share anything. Abstract product. Here I'm using abstraction plus interface for the products and the concrete product, the object is finally returned. Okay, let's look at the source code. Open up source abstract factory concept, factory A and factory B. So these three files are part of the first section there. Okay, so abstract factory concept is importing factory A and factory B, and this is the abstract factory class. I have a static method create object and can return objects from either factory A or factory B. And they will return a product which conforms to the I product interface, which I've just created just here. Now the I product interface is actually extending the I product A interface and the I product B interface. So both of these factories are independent of each other and they produce different products with potentially different interfaces. And I'm importing factory A, the interface, B, the interface. So if we look at factory A, exports an interface, exports the factory A, returns interface product A. It's very similar to the factory concept example. So this should all look familiar for you. It's the same with factory B. It's returning a type of I product factory B. Okay, so down here in the client code, abstract factory get product AB, abstract factory get product BC. The client doesn't really know the details behind all the factories. It's just saying get me the product with that name. And the abstract factory there will analyze the name and decide which factory it's going to go to for that. Now also note here there's something new. There's the try catch statement. If I was unable to return any factories, I'm just going to throw an error, no factory found. And in that case, the create object method won't actually return anything of type I product but undefined. So that's what you're seeing here. Or so this static create object method can return an I product or undefined. If I took that away, TypeScript would indicate an error. Function lacks an ending return statement and return type does not include undefined. So it kind of helps you there what you need to do because if the code got to this point, it wouldn't actually be returning anything of type I product. So there you go, or undefined. And that will happen if I was to request a product called CC, for example, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. Okay, all this code is automatically compiled because I'm running TSC in watch mode. Let's execute that abstract factory concept example. Okay, dist abstract factory, abstract factory concept js okay so it's returned a concrete product b from factory a and a concrete product c from factory b and to see what happens if i was to return a product that it didn't know about and we go we have an error the error thrown was error no factory found and all i'm doing here is just logging it but we could create some specific code to handle that particular error if we wanted to excellent in the next video we'll expand on the abstract factory and we'll put it into some kind of context by using an example excellent